Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Curb Appeal, the series on my channel where I attempt to recreate photographs in The Sims 4. So today is a very, very exciting episode because I am going to be recreating the following photograph and I'm going to pop it up in the top left hand corner of the screen. It's this cool tree house that is in a tree. So it's like a legitimate tree house that's in a tree. Hence the word treehouse. But anyways, I thought the picture was quite cool. It had a lot of cool dimension. It was also small enough that it was feasible. And then I thought we could get a little bit creative with how we incorporate the tree into the home. So it looks like the tree is in like the middle of the home and it kind of goes up through the center. And then on the bottom, there's like a cool little like patio balcony area. And then all the living area is up at the top. So I thought it'd be a cool one to recreate. I've seen this photo floating around the internet a ton. Pinterest, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram. Even you guys might have submitted this photo too. But nonetheless, it's been sitting in my build folder for ages. And I thought now that we have ladders, now that we have terrain tools, now that we have, you know, stairs. Like we have a lot of features now. That I feel now that we have the window feature where you don't have to center like you can put windows wherever you want I thought it'd be a good time a good time to finally attempt to recreate this photograph I think back in the day back in the old days of curb appeal It was really difficult to look at a photo and decide if I was going to be able to build it or not because we had a lot of limitations in like remember when we didn't have terrain tools and or terraforming or whatever you want to call it and when we didn't have ladders or like when windows were confined to a single a single grid things have come a long way since before like since i started building which was like two years ago and it's honestly so cool to see how many more photos we can recreate in the sims now that all these features have been added so i'm really glad i sat on this photo for a while and didn't jump the gun because now i think i can get a like more accurate representation of this photo in the sims now that we have these added features so i'm glad i didn't build it like last year or something but anyways that's a long intro talking about things we did and did not have but anyways you can see here pretty much i have done the kind of like foundation of the home basically i chose the tree first and then built the like deck around it and left a little square cut out in the middle so the tree could fit at the bottom and the tree is only like a one tile tree anyways so it slots right in the center there and then i made it um i put like the home on the second level and then just put some nice i think they're seasons or get together columns around the outside of the home just to give it that nice stilt foundation and then I use the base game stilt foundation and instead of using a staircase I actually ended up using the ladders um, as you can see in the photo they use a combination of a ladder and a staircase I just felt like for this build just a ladder would work best um, I do actually end up changing the tree later as well to I think a tree from debug so you'll see me change it later this one was just a little bit too spooky so I am happy with the one I ended up going with later so here you can see I'm just basically trying to figure out the window situation so as per usual with my curb appeal videos I like to replicate it as best as possible but I do like to make kind of my own judgment calls here and there to make it more my style so at first we are going for a very like woodsy treehouse i guess but then i decided to kind of go the more modern bougie route of course and i ended up using the moschino kind of more industrial looking windows on the side and i think it actually looks really good it gives it a more like modern feel so it's a nice cute little treehouse this is in granite falls by the way so it is a vacation lot but then it has a little bit more of a renovated feel to it so it's like if you want to go and stay in a treehouse on vacation but you want it to be bougie like you want a nice pinterest worthy airbnb kind of experience if you know what i mean so that's kind of what we went for with the vibe here i also used a cool little trick where i made a skylight um, i don't know if you guys saw me do it you can feel free to watch it back if you want to but i pretty much just layered a couple of roof pieces on top of each other and then used the glass swatch on one of them to kind of make it look like there's this little cutout where there's a skylight in the ceiling or in the roof there are tons of tutorials for it on youtube if you want to see it more step by step but otherwise it's pretty easy to figure out you can just watch it back uh, i just did it a couple seconds ago um but i do end up 
playing around with the color swatches quite a bit. There isn't really a clear color scheme in the photograph. It's kind of just like white and beige and brown and gray and, and nothing too, too special. Really the structure is what makes this build stand out, not so much like the color scheme necessarily. So at first I had like a white and brown color scheme, but it was just a little bit too harsh, a little bit too like, dare I say, tacky. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. Obviously I was, I was trying to do it for most of the build, but then I decided to change it to more of like a white and beige color scheme. I think it looked just a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more, just a little bit more nice and gentle and pleasant to the eye. So I did end up changing that and I do like that a lot better. And then for the Moschino windows, as you can see, I did that. I ended up using the white color swatch just because it was the most, felt like the best fit here, modern, clean, what have you. You can see here, I'm just doing the roof swatches. And then for the flooring, I used the, what is it called? Outdoor retreat flooring. So I like the outdoor retreat one. It does have some nice like colors and textures and gives it just like a nice, a nice textured vibe. You know how sometimes the wood really makes a difference. If you use like a solid color wood, it can sometimes just look like an interior wood, like wood that's only meant for the interior. Whereas if you use kind of a more like, sorry, my vocabulary is like really failing me today. If you use a, a wood that has a little bit more dimension, a little bit more like scuffing on it, it can look a little bit better for like a deck or something like that. So also with a white, all like an all white build, I wanted to add more dimension with the colors. So um, choosing a multicolored wood kind of felt like the right choice in this scenario. Um, you can also see that I ended up using a lot more kind of terrain tools in this build, which I don't usually dabble in terrain tools too often. Um, they're a nice feature, but sometimes it just, it, it's just hard. It's just really hard. <laughs> sometimes it, it's, it also, I think what it is, is I'm very, I like things to be very particular and perfect. And I'm very a control freak when it comes to that. And the terrain tool stuff is just so random and unpredictable that maybe my inner control freak just can't handle it. So I don't really know why, but in this uh, video or in this build, I ended up using more train tools than usual just to make the kind of ground uneven to reflect how it is in the photo. And the photograph is kind of like a hill on one side, if you can tell. So as for the specs of this home, it is only a one bedroom, one bathroom home it can only really fit like a couple. So maybe if you guys are going on a honeymoon or something and your sim couple is the type of people that likes to go into the forest or go camping or something on their honeymoon, this could be cute. Or if you just want a nice little couples retreat getaway or if you're just dating somebody and, and you wanna like go on a little vacation with them, your sims can come here and and have a nice time out in, in the green getaway lot in uh, outdoor retreat. What's the name of this? Granite Falls. Granite Falls. So here you can see I'm using the debug menu to pull off these little fences. They're actually really, really cool. I found them in the debug. What pack are they from? They're actually from the outdoor retreat pack, it looks like. Um, I don't, I'd never seen these fences before, but I think they're so, so cute and a lot like this. They kind of look like they're made of wood and they're kind of falling over. I don't know, I thought it'd be a nice little framing detail to put on the back of the lot. Sometimes putting like a formal fence around an entire lot can look too formal, if you know what I mean. So putting a little disheveled fence just in like little areas of the lot can make it look a little bit more casual and also make your property feel more private without fully closing it off. So sometimes I like to add little details like that. So the main kind of living area here is what we're doing and it's the bottom kind of patio section. It's like a, it's not really a patio, it's like a deck. Um, but the whole bottom floor is all outdoors. It's fully undercover, so it is nice to have. Um, if you're staying here, obviously come during the summer or something like that, and you can stay and hang out at the patio underneath the whole time. I'm going to put a barbecue. I end up putting like a little living area, a fire pit too, I believe, and then you can just eat and, and relax out here. I didn't put a hot tub, unfortunately. Maybe I should have. 
but I didn't. <laughs> if you do download the slot, feel free to put like a hot tub or something else, but it's just a nice place for your sims to come down and relax and and stay outside and enjoy the nice summer forest breeze. But I do really like making little outdoor spaces like this, and I think the fact that it's undercover too um, makes me really want something like this in real life. I really like covered patios. I don't know why. <laughs> I recently went to my friend's house and she redid her entire backyard. It used to be just like grass because they had a dog. Unfortunately, their dog passed away. Um, so they don't really need all that grass anymore. So they completely renovated it and like put nice stone tiles down the whole thing and then bought this huge like gazebo cabana type thing. And then they have a nice big sectional couch underneath. Um, and then like a fire pit and then the entire like cabana gazebo thing has like a mosquito net thing that you could close off So if you want you can like sit out there at nighttime in this nice undercover patio thing and not worry about bugs and I don't know something about an undercover like covered patio just Seems very luxurious. Um, so she's very very lucky We went and sat out there for a long time and it was super super fun and I definitely need to, I need that in my real life. I just, someone needs to get me a nice house with a big backyard. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> so here you can see I'm actually using a lot of the hanging plants from the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack. You gotta love the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack. If, if anything, get it for the plants, you guys. The plants are worth the $10 price tag. I'm not even gonna lie. They are so, so good. Um, I can't believe nifty knitting was was the pack to give us hanging plants seriously but you know what you can't complain also even better wait until nifty knitting goes on sale it'll be five dollars fifty percent off then it's definitely worth it for the plants um it's so funny i always encourage everybody to like wait for sales and honestly is there really any other way to buy a stuff pack or buy any pack from the sims the Sims has so many sales on their packs, so pro pro life tip, don't buy things full price ever. <laughs> but here you can see I'm doing the top floor. So the top floor has the bedroom. Now, it's kind of like a loft style bedroom, I guess. And then there's a ladder that goes up to it. Um, here I'm doing the bathroom and I'm doing kind of like a cool, I don't know if it's cool. It's kind of like a trick. I wanted to make it feel a little bit more tree housey so i ended up using these little log benches as like a countertop uh, you guys know that i've been using the marble piece a lot lately in the bathroom and trying to repurpose that the marble piece from dine out that is but since this was a tree house it wouldn't really be appropriate to use like a marble piece here so i wanted to try and replicate that trick but maybe with this kind of log bench so it's actually a bench that comes with the outdoor retreat and i just used the white swatch i raised up the item a little bit to make it look like a countertop and then just use the island living sinks so hopefully it's still functional i'll have to play test it but i don't see why it wouldn't be but it is a cute little trick um just a nice way to repurpose some items and kind of fit the vibe of this whole treehouse thing uh just a little bit cooler than your average regular bathroom so hopefully it works let me know what you guys think of that trick and if you guys are going to use it and if you guys have any other items that you think would work well in a bathroom for me to repurpose because you guys know i hate bathrooms i hate 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 furnishing bathrooms in the sims it's boring it's honestly just boring all my bathrooms look the same so i've actually been trying to make a conscious effort to be a little bit more creative in the bathroom area when i decorate to try and just get out of my little hole of hating bathrooms and actively try and be a bit more creative and push my inner boundaries a little bit more. Um, so I encourage you guys to do the same. If there's any aspect of the game that you're bored of or you don't like, try and improve it somehow. Um, at least try. If you fail, that's fine. Maybe it's the Sims. Maybe it's the game's fault. Um, but yeah, at least try. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to do. Maybe you guys want to do that too. But here you can see we are doing the bedroom part. So I made it yellow, which is weird because I don't like color. But here we are, a new girl. <laughs> the second half of 2020, I'm a new person. Colorful bedrooms. I like bathrooms. Who is she? Who am I? I don't know. But here we are just... 
um, making a, a nice colorful sweet bedroom. It is quite feminine looking, I will admit, but I think this whole house is very cute and I imagine it being kind of like an Airbnb type of a lot and you know how Airbnbs always have like cool, cute, like Pinteresty color schemes. So, I mean, I felt it was semi-appropriate and I just wanted to use yellow. Sometimes you just feel like using yellow. <laughs> sometimes not often but sometimes um here you can see we are on the kind of like main middle level of the treehouse and we are putting a kitchen i contemplated not putting a kitchen just because maybe it wasn't necessary but i had some space and i thought it'd be nice for them to have the option to actually cook a full meal um if they don't want to use the barbecue downstairs they can actually cook some breakfast or something like that especially if you there's no like restaurants nearby in the forest so they probably need to have some form of cooking appliance here realistically if we're gonna be talking realistically you know because the sims is is real life you know what i mean um but i do like kind of how open it is i put windows all over the inner part so you can look into where the tree is the tree is a debug tree so because it's a debug tree you can't actually see it because it disappears when you get too close so I'm not sure if it will show up in my screenshots, but it is kind of nice for actual gameplay. The tree won't get in your way, but when you kind of zoom out and you're looking at the lot from the outside, you will see the tree. So kind of a nice feature of debug items. Uh, it just like doesn't really get in your way when you're playing. So I quite like it. But if you do want to see the tree, you are free to swap out the debug tree for like a real catalog tree. And then it will, you know, be present for the entire time of your gameplay if that is your preference but you can see we are basically done it is a tiny home technically i guess it's very very small very cute but i think it is jam-packed full of nice tasteful decor and good comfy cozy vibes especially if you want to come relax here on a nice vacation or a honeymoon or a romantic couple's getaway uh, i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed me doing a kind of different build and experimenting with some color and some cool bathroom tricks and just uh, i had a lot of fun doing this one i did do it on stream so Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to submit your own photos for me to recreate in Curb Appeal, I do have a Discord server, which I'll link down below, where you guys can submit your photos into the server, and then I will recreate them for you. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram if you guys want to follow me and support me on there. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it. And if this is our first time meeting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends if you want to see more Sims 4 videos. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody!